All right, last episode was rough, and it better not start hitting me with those out of nowhere because ores got introduced like an episode ago, and that was still really depressing. But well, welcome back to the channel. We have a One Piece episodes 465 and 466 today. And yes, Ors Jr. is is fallen. I, I believe he's fallen in battle. Trying his hardest to get to Ace and just making it there, but again, it's so futile because of the power the Navy holds. We also got introduced to Akainu's power, finally, the last Admiral, and he is strong to say the least. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub so you don't miss any of this and let's hop into these ones they all have like ores mask things like the jaws oh my gosh stop stop the soundtrack stop dude if if ace is able to get out of these chains he's going to unleash hell on the navy i swear to god Oh, he is. I can, I can just see it. He is just. He. I. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm like an unending rage inside of him right now. You just know it. Dude, the leg. Like, how did Dolpho Mingo cut it so cleanly too? Like, he's in one motion. Gecko Boy is like, all right, peace, guys. I'm back to Thor Mark. What's Whitebeard think? Like I said, I. I figured Whitebeard was like, he knew Horse wasn't going to make it. Ors was on a mission one way or another. Oh, destroy this man. Yeah, don't even give him a chance. God damn! Holy shit, Rip Bozo! But he got his skull crushed! <laughs> Oh my god, dude. That was just unbridled rage. I hate nothing for Whitebeard. It's for him now, too. And everybody, we've already lost in this war. Dang. You can't let his death be in vain. They're using him, yeah. This is what Wars would want, though, if it means saving Ace. Oh my gosh. All the men on him. Just gotta keep pushing forward. Dude, these red intercuts are just jarring. <laughs> Dog, I don't know. I'm scared of Doflamingo. This guy's a psycho. That's true, yeah. This is this is history in the making. Oh no, buddy, you are so done. Oh yeah, you say that. <laughs> Dude, he just seems way too OP. Like, Gekko Mori is strong, right? Kuma's strong. Mihawk is strong, even. But Noble Migo scares me. He's unhinged by the by the looks of it, too. Kobe's starting to think he's not built for this life, man. I guess every sort of soldier here had this sort of awakening moment that Kobe's having now at one point in their life or another. Oh, oh is he running? Yeah, he's just leaving. Oh. oh, wait, the voice is familiar. Wait, the voice is really familiar. Oh, that's a guy new. Wait, is he gonna kill this dude for running? <gasps> he seems like the just like at all cost type. Dang. Oh, for a second, I thought he was just gonna let him run. Oh, yeah, no, he's just scaring this dude. He's like, you best turn back, right? I will, I will put you in the dirt. Wait. Oh my god! He killed him! I was joking! Oh my god, Al Kinyu would not do that. He's the real, I think it'd be 50 50. Oh man, a Kainu is savage, holy. Yeah, that's still in the back of my mind. The fact that Ace is Roger's son. Don't worry, show I have not forgotten. Dude, where is Luffy in that entire ship? I guess Whitebeard's reinforcements are just slowly getting here too. Who is this? Another, I guess, captain. It looks like, oh my gosh, oh my god! An ice cutter ship! Whitey Bay? Oh my goodness! That's an enormous ship. Looks like the same size as the Moby Dick. His voice is so good, man. He can just make you do whatever he wants. Like, what weakness is there to that? Oh my god, he's gonna make him slice his own. <gasps> Oh my. 
his laugh. Well, he's genuinely psychotic. That has been rewritten. Yes, yeah, he's like he's just like here for the chaos too. That's why he's having so much fun. He doesn't care who wins. In true warlord fashion, a government dog that doesn't like the government. Dude. What a shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. What is it? What is it? What? God washed. Okay. What is going on? What is happening? What is this? Wipe your doesn't look shaken. Buddha? His nickname is Buddha? That's worrisome. Oh my god. What is Garp doing? What is Garp doing? Maybe he'll try to free Ace. He does care for him, man. Dude, he does. Not as his own grandson, but probably close. Wait, maybe he actually is going to, to free him. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's what it's alluding to. What are you doing? He's sitting. Oh, so Ace isn't alone? Oh, he did not want them to be pirates, man. <laughs> he got up to defend Luffy. <laughs> Where'd you learn the curse? Oh, man. No, oh, so this is where he got it from. <laughs> but it was under the assumption that he'd be in the Navy. <laughs> Dude, he was cracked when he was young, baby. So quick. Dude, these moments are too sweet, man. And now look where we are. ええ、貴様。なぜわしと言う通りに生きなんだ。ええ。お前らは強い海兵になるんじゃ。強い海兵になるんじゃ。やるぜ、お前とて容赦せんぞ。やるな、とにやってるわ。That's what I thought. Don't even know like how close it is to wait, what is in the sky? What is that? Uh, it's gonna interrupt them to executing him at least. It's Croc! Oh my god! His face! How are they in the sky? Oh my god! He winked them into the air! Yeah, but not everybody will be. What about Buggy? Oh, Buggy. Buggy might be fine, too. This is how they arrive. Buggy has a marine hat on. Oh, my God. Dude, everybody sees them. He's like, you psychopath. That has to be one of the greatest entrances into anything I've ever seen ever. Dude, when Garb said, what do I do? That was heartbreaking. He's been a man that up until this point, like every action, it's just been kind of lighthearted. He hasn't seemed like he cared that much about anything. He's just going through the motions and he's, he's just having fun with everything. But he's at a point where it's like his entire life versus family, like he said. All these values and everything. That's why he, he was like, why didn't you just join the Navy? So we didn't end up here. He's so conflicted with that. That was that was rough, man. That caught me out of nowhere whenever he said that. Episode 466. Let's go to the next. Make wax or something. I don't know, make a slide. Now, what do they do? Okay, it will be explained. Sick. 
<laughs> I love this bit. Oh, okay, it was the sea quake that was moving them, I see. Oh, it was a giant wave that took them? No shot. Oh, they got caught from the beginning of the scene. Oh, that yeah, was from Whitebeard, though. Jimmy is like, I'm finna swim. You guys, good luck. Ride on the tsunami. Stop, buggy. Look at Croc, so stoic. Yeah. I love how just cold about it he is. I love that he's here. I've said that maybe like a million times at this point, but dude, I love that crocodile is a part of all this. <laughs> oh my god, he just straight up, straight up rode the tsunami. I love how it didn't show us what was happening until that point, and then it went back. Look at these two together, man. Who would have thought? Wait. What froze it then? Oh, was that when our oh that was when Aokiji did freeze the tsunami originally? Oh, I see. And they sort of got trapped. He, yeah, Jimmy knows. Look down. They were that high up? Oh my gosh. They were on the top of that. No shot. I like how just intuitive Jimbe is. Yeah, Luvi, there's been a change of plans. They're trying to now, brother. But apparently they just straight up went the other way. But from the way they were talking, it sounded like Ivan blinked them like down. <laughs> Luvi's talk no jutsu is just so strong. The target is T-O-T-T-Z. Is Operation 3 to speed it up? Advance the preparation. I feel like out of anyone, Jimbei would know what that means. Yep. Okay, never mind. They straight up just said it. They're out of time. I'm not super shocked they made that move, though. Oh, no. They straight up all just jumped and destroyed that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now we're caught up. Makes sense. And that was how it happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a sight. What an entrance. Such a Luffy-esque entrance too. Dog, so many of those like random prisoners from Impel Down are gonna die. They just straight up fell. They're like, man, this this drama is heating up. Yeah, it came from Skypia. Okay, okay, pump the brakes. Water from that distance is like concrete. Oh, it was the section where he threw the ice out. I mean, I guess it's so, it's really high. I mean, I don't know. What do I know? Where's Luffy? Oh no. Oh my. Let me guess. All four of the Devil Bird users and Jimbei's gonna save all four of them. <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh, Croc and Mr. One, Buggy and Luffy all want to just drown right there. Jimbei continue. Oh, and Mr. Three. Jimbei just continues proving himself, man. He's gonna snap into him any second where he is and why he's here. I miss having the straw hats with him though, man. This is such a big event. Where is he? He's so far. Brother, these nameless Navy men, get out of the way. There's gonna be a moment where they see each other. A million percent. Yeah, Luffy ain't pulling no punches right now. No time. This lighting is very interesting. It's like a certain style. Oh, this is the right side. Right there. Wait. Yeah, you should see him. <gasps> and Garp. Oh, man. I'm so anxious. And Ace now sees that Luffy is here too. He's probably just freaking out, man. He's gonna yell to him. Oh my gosh. Your Luffy just got here. Bum, 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 bum. Gear two, gear three. Just do whatever it takes, baby. Who's in that lineup? <laughs> yes, sir. We got goddamn buggy, baby. Oh, hell yeah. And Jimbei. <laughs> it's your family again. 
Garb honestly is probably more just mad because he's worried about Luffy now too. So Jim Bay is technically part of the Revolutionary Army or is he just saying Ivan of the Revolutionary Army? <laughs> Mihawk's probably like, where's Zoro? And then Gekko Mori just has PTSD. <laughs> Luffy, my lover. And Kobe sees him. <laughs> For real, some heavy hitters. Yeah. They're all establishing who he came with. <laughs> Smoker's about a free guy's like, God damn, Luffy, no shot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Yes, sir. Bum, 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 bum. I'd like to see you try it, Kainu. Look at this group. Ragtag as it is. Yeah, I think this is where Jembe. Oh, yeah, this is where he loses his job. Okay. I don't think it's that odd. Oh, there's Whitebeard. Whitebeard's still just witnessing it all. Commanding his men. That's who Crocodile wants. I guess that's why Garp brought that up, because that's Crocodile's target, is to take down Whitebeard. What? What is that? Brother. He is just terrifying. Wait, did he already book it for Whitebeard? No shot! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Crocodile's about to get clapped! By a Luffy, I guess! Damn! Luffy said you stay the hell away from him. He didn't bring you here for this. Oh man. He's dripping. He got some water on him. Oh my gosh. Back when he referred to him as Water Luffy. Yeah, your deal's done. Croc, I'm sorry. There's no way you take down Whitebeard. As I thought. I like how this is Whitebeard's first experience seeing Luffy. Yeah, back off, dude. The straw hat. This is kind of a big moment, too. Whitebeard's seeing Luffy for the first time. Oh! Oh, shoot! Where is Shanks during all of this? For a new generation. It's basically like Shanks' word. For Luffy. Like, I would think Shanks would fight with, with Whitebeard. <laughs> this is the generation Shanks was talking about. Oh, he's well aware. He does not care. Dang. You don't think Luffy is tough enough. Spit, Luffy! That's what he wanted to hear! For sure! Well, me too! Damn! It takes some gusto to stand up and do a dude as big as Whitebeard like that. See, he likes that! He likes that, that like energy, that fire! I guarantee it! Oh, maybe not. Wait. Whitebeard. We're on the same side, man. <laughs> dude just fell over. <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> As he always has. <laughs> He's competing with Whitebeard! <laughs> you bought that guy, Mr. Three? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's just so close, but so far. But dude, seeing these interactions, like them even pointing out like, why is Crocodile with him? The first like big, big, big antagonist of the show. Yeah, we had others like Arlong Buggy, but Crocodile felt like a, a just like all out, just this is, this has to happen type threat. And now he's he's come with Luffy to take on the government. Well, more specifically trying to kill or take down Whitebeard. But like I said, he's not gonna stand a single chance there, especially since we know now what Whitebeard's powers are. I don't think Whitebeard is touchable by anyone at this point. And I think that's why he's kind of like hiding his hand. He's letting a lot of fight go on so that he can step in at a moment where it's like punching down and rescuing Ace. But like the interaction between Luffy and Whitebeard, I feel like that's a monumental conversation because Whitebeard 
Walker literally thought back to Shank saying, I gave it up for the next generation, which he saw in Luffy. And whenever Luffy talked back to him like that, he was like, oh yeah, no, I'm, I, maybe I do see a little bit of what you were talking about. But now it's really going down. Now that the MC has arrived, baby. Guys, that's been it for episodes 465 and 466 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop a sub on the channel if you're new. I can just tell it's just going to be heat from here on out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.